What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickup Slash 1-Up Box Unboxing video. Must first say thank you very much to all you guys sending out the happy birthday wishes. You guys are too sweet. Thank you, thank you so much. I just had a ton of private messages in my inbox and a ton of notifications and stuff. I couldn't get to, to most of them. But... I want to say, just put it out there, I saw them, and thank you, thank you very much. I had a pretty good birthday, um, even though my computer was bugging out on me yesterday. So I was working on the Transformers uh, Combiner Wars uh, Autobots, you know, the Mirage and Optimus, and um, this is basically the Optimus Prime Combiner, and my computer was just acting up on me, man, and I was in a rush because I had to leave to go teach a drum lesson in the city, so... I, I didn't get to do my final overview of the video, so you guys may have noticed that there's a bunch of bloopers left in that thing. I had worked so hard on that video, and then and I had just run out of time. Like, I just didn't have enough time to go over all that stuff, so, it, you know, it was just outside of my power. And I didn't want to rush today, because I have a lot of lessons I'm teaching today. So, it had to get posted up yesterday, so I apologize for the bloopers. I hope you enjoyed them. But anyway, I wanted to give an announcement. Uh, first off, uh, I do have a winner for the Sasuke uh, figure, so I will announce that in the middle of this P.O. Box pickup video. And I also have another giveaway, uh, which I'll also mention uh, in the middle of this P.O. Box pickup video. And I also wanted to say that I'm going to change some incentives around for the patrons. So. Uh, I'm going to create some new incentives so that you guys can make it a little bit more worth your while to become a patron. First off, the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation videos will be only available to patrons starting uh, for September. So that's what that's going to be. And if you're bummed out about that, don't be bummed out because the segments are all in the reviews anyway. So it's not like there's any new content that you're missing out on. It's just the convenience of having them compiled into one video. I'll reserve that just for the patrons. So if you want to be a patron, check the link below. But that's what's going to happen from now on with the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation videos. Um, then some other things. I have uh, T-shirt ideas in the works, and uh, and then some other and then some other ideas. So I'm still working on that. But there's just a lot of stuff going on. As far as my birthday gifts, I just want to show off really quick that um, I showed this off a couple of times, and I still love this. It was my first birthday gift this year. Thank you so much, Sean Long. I love this picture of me getting punched in the face by Mark Hamill. That, that's just that's just too awesome. I'm very happy with that. And then the lovely Charlita One got me a GoPro Hero, which I'm very, very stoked about. Stoked about? I don't know what happened to my voice. But, um, yeah, this is uh, I've been playing around with this for a little bit already. I don't know exactly where I'm going to use it. She knows that I wanted this to make drum videos, so I want to get the strap thing right here, and I want to get the drummer vision going on, so I want to do some drum videos. I also think this would be really good for some toy hunt videos, so the Ceremony Toy Show is coming up this weekend. I will be going to that, uh, most likely Saturday and Sunday, uh, so yeah, I will be going to the Ceremony Toy Show, so I may strap this on and, and walk around and see how that goes. I don't know. We'll see. So I definitely look forward to playing with this. Anyway, let's open up some letters from you guys over here. And uh, let's start with Enrique from Norman Park. Open this, open, open this up, open this, 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 uh, Dear Shardimus, my name is Enrique and I am from Moultrie, Georgia. I've been watching your channel for about two years now. I am 15 years old. My birthday was August August the 12th. Ah, happy belated birthday. Uh, and I get to say your channel, and, and I got to say your channel has uh, improved 50,000 uh, much. Uh, every time I watch your videos, I always wish I had as much figures and collectibles as you do. Well, you know, like I said many times before, uh, the number of people out there that have these many figures that aren't reviewers is, is very small. You know what I mean? Like, if, if I wasn't reviewing figures full time, I would not have as many figures as I have now. Just putting that out there. Just to keep things real with you, you know what I mean? Um, it would probably mostly be just Marvel Legends and Masterpiece figures and some G1 stuff. 
and oh, a bunch of other stuff, but just not as much. Anyway, speaking of figures and all that other stuff, you have inspired me to collect comic books and action figures, and I am having so much fun collecting and reading comic books. That's awesome, man. So thank you so much, Shardimus. I would start collecting Dragon Ball Z figures, but they are just so expensive. Right now, I am starting to collect Marvel Universe figures, so thank you, Shardimus, for inspiring me and making videos. Have a great day. But before you end the letter, I, I would love if you answer these questions. Are you getting the Hot Toys Hulkbuster? No, I will not be getting the Hulk Hot Toys Hulkbuster. Um, it's out of my price range, man. Uh, but I will be reviewing it. I will do my best to borrow the figure and review it. And then, two, uh, what are some of uh, good advice for collecting figures and comics? I would say I would say for both stay focused because it can get both for comics too uh, and figures you can you can get lost and try it like I like for instance at my comic book shop I saw Deadpool versus Thanos I was like oh man I love both of those characters I would love to read Deadpool versus Thanos and then I looked at who the creative team behind it was I didn't recognize the name so I'm like ah. I'm going to pass on this, you know, I want to read it, but I'm going to pass on it. So, you, you got to kind of be picky. That's my advice, is to try to be picky, stay within, you know, uh, like a specific team or fan, like Spider-Man and X-Men. If Spider-Man and X-Men is your main thing, try to not reach out, or Avengers and Spider-Man is your thing. Try not to reach out too much, all right, because it can get out of hand. Uh, and then, P.S., Spider-Man is also my favorite superhero of all time. Awesome. And you get some artwork right over here. Whoa, and look at Broly go. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you very, very much, Enrique. Awesome stuff. All right, this is Griffin from Minnesota, or Mississippi. Is MS Mississippi? Or is that MI? Dang it. There's Minnesota. There's, oh, damn. There's all those, the M ones, I get confused. I think MS is Mississippi. I want to say MS, or is MI Michigan? Michi oh, God damn it, I can't remember. I'm sure you already started writing your comment letting me know what's up. <laughs> right? Anyway, uh, this is right. It says, read this first. Hey, what's up, Shardimus? My name is Griffin, and I absolutely love your videos. I'm 13 years old, and I collect comics and action figures, much like you. You are the one that helped my collection expand. Your channel has gotten me through some of my harder times, and you are by far my number one YouTuber. Right on, man. Very happy to help. Also, my favorite Marvel hero is the Hulk, and my favorite villain is Venom. Also, I saw your comment on Cheat Town Cyclone's Icons Hulk review, and I replied to you. I just recently got that figure. I'd like to know if you'd like for me to send it to you for a review at some point. I have a channel, and I'll include the name here if you could say it. Uh, Super Toad, I do, I do plush videos, and I'm also cur creating a figure channel too. Well, props to Super Toad, so check him out. Uh, thanks, man. I'll decline, though, because I do want to get that figure. So it's kind of like, um, and I have to give big thanks to Javon. Speaking of, of birthday gifts, Javon sold me the Hot Toys Mark Seven Iron Man, which is something I've been wanting for years now. And he sold it to me for a really cheap price. I could not pass on it. I'm, I'm considering it a birthday gift. It was such an awesome deal. So thank you so much, Javon. I've borrowed Choose Mark 7 a couple of times for comparisons and reviews, and every time I borrowed his figure, I never switched out the accessories, never did anything with it as far as really getting him to a lot of poses, you know, maybe just a little bit, but never switched out the accessory parts or anything like that, because I knew one day I would, I wanted that figure so much, one day I would get it. And same kind, so, same kind of deal with the Hulk figure, I don't want to like really get my hands too get too much of my hands on it because I want to get, I know I'm going to get that figure one day, one day I'm going to get that figure, so I want to like enjoy it all on my own at the same time. I know it's like a weird nitpicky dork thing, but thank you very much regardless, that is very kind of you, especially because it's not a cheap figure too. Uh, thanks for reading all this and I hope to see more content. Uh, that is from Griffin and alright, cool. Here's some short art, who the hell are you? Uh, the real buff in Infinity Gauntlet wearing Converse Wearing Shardimus Prime! <laughs> yeah, I'm so buffed. <laughs> right. That is funny. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Griffin. Thank you, thank you, man. That 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 is too cool. Right on. Alright, this is from Ultimate Geek 710 from Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> says here, uh, Dear Shardimus, sorry my writing is sloppy. A lot of you guys say you're writing sloppy, but it's like totally crispy clean. Anyway, 
Uh, sorry, my writing is sloppy. My hand was shaking. But anyways, I'm 14 years old and I am a huge fan. You're my favorite toy reviewer. Before I get a Marvel Legend, I always make sure you recommend it. That's how I know it's worth buying. You inspired me to collect action figures. One day I hope my collection will be as awesome as yours. I am very careful with them and I don't like when some people touch them. Please read this on your next P.O. Box pickups. Done. And I have a few questions. Uh, okay, try to stick to three questions. One, uh, when you review your figures, do you ever review, uh, do you ever worry about breaking them? Absolutely. Uh, and it's very hard to not, I, I'll do multiple takes, like uh, articulation segments especially. Like I'll do multiple takes because I don't want to ruin anything and I'll like mess, I'll try to do like a rough take beforehand and then I'll actually shoot it because that, that's when it's likely to break something because you're, you're, you're looking through a viewfinder and you're looking at the figure, not truly looking at the figure and you're holding like this. Like seriously, when you get a figure in hand, what do you guys do? Do you hold it like this when you start messing with it? No, you go like this, right? You pose it and you look down and you're going like this. So it's easy to, to screw it up. Anyway, which Captain America Hot Toys do you recommend? Winter Soldier or Age of Ultron? Age of Ultron a million times over. Uh, three, how many parts are you planning to have on the Marvel Legends Collector documentary? No plans at all. Just winging it. Uh, four, what's your real name? You call me Sharnamus Prime, but Russ. And I also wanted to know, thank you. Oh, I also wanted to know. And it says, thank you sincerely, Ultimate Comic Geek. And it says on the back, I forgot to mention, I watched Fan Fan Four Stick. That's what I'm calling. That's what I'm calling it. And it sucked. It did suck. I watched it on my laptop, and thank God I did because I'm so glad I didn't waste my money on it. I stopped watching it at the 50 minute mark, and two hours later, I took a risk and finished it. The ending was the worst part. This made the old FF uh, look good, and Daredevil with Ben Aff Dare Ben Affleck. Uh, when I saw Ben in the bat suit, I totally forgot he played DD. Stay awesome, man. Right on. Thank you so much, Ultimate Geek 710. And then we have some artwork right over here. Oh, nice. Printing of my original drawing. Sorry, man. I give all my drawings to my dad, Christian Martinez. Right on. Nice Robin. That looks really, really good. Yeah, it's good that you give your artwork to your dad. All right. And I have a package over here. And, oh, yeah, I also mentioned the winner for the Sasuke figure goes to Raul Gutierrez. Raul, because I have sympathy for the man on the hunt, you know? So he's been uh, looking around and looking around and yes, and the reasons why I pick winners is totally random, all right? So don't leave comments kind of relating to the previous winner. I kind of noticed that. A lot of people wanted to give, give their prize away because that's the reason I picked the other one. But this one goes to the man on the hunt. So Raul, hit me up within the next few days, man, at least before next week. Uh, if you don't hit me up before the next PO Box pickup videos, prize is going to someone else. And the way you hit me up is send a private message to me via YouTube, which you need to go, you go to my main channel, go to about, and then uh, after you hit about, it'll say send message over there. So yeah. Uh, you gotta get back to me within the week. Okay, so this is from, uh, has no name or anything like that. It's, uh, Roanoke Rapids, New, North, North Carolina. And a little, little box right there, so I'm gonna open that up. And, uh, I don't know how to, this is such a small little team. And what is this? I have no idea what to expect in here. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, no, oh, sweet. Is this like a custom, I think this is a custom Shardimus Prime. And wow, what is and I have does it, do I have a tail? What is this? Oh, it's a sword. Sick. All right, so if you guys noticed, I have I'm changing stuff around over here. This is my Shardimus Prime shelf. I realize now that I do want more of the customs on this side, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna move the 12 inch one over there, and then move Big Time Letdown Hulk and you know all the other ones to that side right there. But yeah, so you guys sending me customs of myself, I'm gonna have them showcased right here for the PO Box pickups videos. And this is incredible. Wow. That is too awesome. Look at that. I got a katana and everything. Got the Shardimus Prime shirt. Got the beard. This is sick. Okay, I have to, I have to read this. This is so cool. Thank you so much. Wow, it says, Dear Shardimus Prime, my name is Jake and I live in North Carolina. I've been watching your videos since about April of 2015. You're my favorite action figure reviewer of the whole galaxy. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping I'd be your favorite reviewer of the universe, but 
I'll take it. I am 12 years old and I have about 3,000 action figures, but they are not on display. My favorite, that's a lot of action figures for a 12 year old. My favorite action figure so far is the Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man. That's a really good figure. I've been making these pipe cleaner action figures since about April. I make DC, Marvel, and Ninja Troll characters and hope someday I get a mass produce them. Q&A. Have you ever watched Gotham? Yes, I have. I watched about the first four or five episodes. Uh, what is your favorite action figure out of the Marvel Legends Rhino Wave? Oh, Scarlet Spider-Man. Uh, are you going to the Atlanta, Georgia Comic Con March 4th? Probably not. And P.S. I've met the Penguin from Gotham. Right on. That is very, very cool. And this is incredibly awesome, Jake. Oh, by the way, the girl who plays Catwoman favorited my review on Twitter. That was very cool. Oh, and I noticed that there's a hoodie right here, too. That's nice. This is really detailed. I mean, there's a lot of little things in here. And he's articulated, too. Right on. Thank you so much, Jake. I'm going to put you right over here, little fluffy short of his. Yeah, all right. I'm going to put him right there for right now. Okay, he's not standing on his own. All right, now next week's winner. Uh, this week's giveaway is the NECA Pacific Rim Reactor Blast Gypsy Danger. Woo so to win this thing, you have to leave a comment on shardmasprime.net but you have to leave it on the video of the Reactor Blast Gypsy Danger. So go ahead and search that on ShardimusPrime.net, leave a comment, and a winner will be randomly picked from the comments over there. Very, very cool looking one right there. Get the Reactor Blast effect and all that. So if you want to win free Gypsy Danger, go ahead and leave a comment. All right. What up, box unboxing time. This is a pretty long P.O. Box pickup video, but there's so much cool stuff going on, right? A lot of giveaways. Uh... Lots of giveaways, lots of boxes and stuff to open. You guys are super generous. All right, let's see what we got here in this one-up box. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, we have a Minecraft uh, sheep. I think this is, is this, I think this is a video game based uh, video game based one. I'm probably gonna send this out. So I have somebody in mind that I want to give this to already. So. There's that. Not my thing, um, but I know somebody who wants it. And what is this? Oh, wow. Cool. So you get the t-shirt right over here. Looking really cool. So we got like a collage of Nintendo stuff going on. We got Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Sonic, Star Fox. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet collage of video games right here. Nice. That's what I like about 1UP Box is that it's 13 bucks, like for the whole box so you're essentially paying 13 bucks for a shirt and then you get a bunch of free goodies on top of that that's the way I see it so if you're if you're interested in one up box check the link below I do ooh what's this oh a necklace this is another I think there's another Minecraft thing so you get this necklace right over here this chain necklace with the Minecraft sword ooh I like this we get a Deadpool pin it's pretty awesome and what's this right here? I can't even figure out what the hell this is. What is this? This is like a pixelated... Uh, there's usually a... Uh, they have a thing right here explaining what all this stuff is. So this is Pixels 1UP Box. An 8-bit bow tie. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, wow. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we get... Um, the 8-bit bow tie. That's funny. I may, I may wear that, actually. That's actually pretty funny. I, I kind of want to wear that one. This is really neat. 8-bit stickers. Wow. Oh, and it's got the turtles on here. You get Ultron, Loki, Joker, Batman. Wow, that's cool. I like that one a lot. That's pretty dope. And then, oh, this is a little Kirby. Uh, QB Papercraft. And Cubby. Uh, it looks like Kirby. DIY Cubby. But I think it's supposed to be Kirby. I don't know. Or it's like a, but yeah, you can make that, and I just want to make sure I got everything in here. So, oh wait, wait, what was this, uh, this necklace thing? This is a pixel sword necklace. Okay, so it is a pixel sword necklace, so you can see a little pixel sword right over there. Alright, cool. So yeah, like I said, you can pick these things based off of your interests. So I chose video games and comic style stuff because my brother's really into video games. So whatever video game stuff is around that I don't necessarily want or I have it in mind for him. So that's so that's how it works with the... God, I'm just like stirring over my words. So that's how it works with the 1UP box. 
Dang it, I have one other package over here that I wanted to open, but I feel like this video is going on. Well, I'm gonna open it anyway, it's a long video. It's my birthday! Well, it's not my birthday, it was my birthday! Okay, this is from Nick Bowling uh, from Pennsylvania. Alright. And then I have to get out of here. Okay, so I, I think I had all the basic covers. I announced the winners. Oh, sweet! This is the, uh, oh, right on. We got a, it says here, Dear Short Miss Prime, my name is Nick and I'm a fan and I am from Red Lion, Pennsylvania. I am 12 years old and have been collecting action figures for 8 years. I love your reviews and can't get enough of them. I used to get a lot of crap from kids at school about collecting figures, reading comics, and watching Doctor Who. You gave me some advice that really helped me with that. You said, own it! Oh, right on. Cool. So I did. I decided that if my hobbies make me happy, no poser is going to tell me otherwise. My dad uh, lets me read The Walking Dead comics, and I've been watching the show since I was 9. Get this. The dumb jock who gave me the most crap isn't even allowed to watch the show at his house. Go figure, right? Me and my figures and comics will get along just fine. I know that you are a Marvel man, but I'm a DC guy. I noticed your collection uh, lacks figures from my favorite verse. To thank you and, and show my appreciation for all you do, I have sent you one of my favorite DC characters. I think he's pretty cool looking and thought you would like him too. I don't know if... You are familiar with the Spectre, but he's just as kick-ass as Batman. Uh, he's He's got this whole Wrath of God type scariness about him. I am familiar with the Spectre. And take care and stay cool, man. Your friend Nick P.S. I'm a huge fan of Five Finger, uh, Five Finger Death Punch. If I ever get out to Pacifica, I'd love to see the Mangs Rocket. Right on, man. That That is so cool. And we play actually around all over the place. So we play Redwood City and everything. So... Damn, thanks man, and check this out, the Spectre right here. I do have a custom, um, oh he's right over there, I don't want to knock over other figures, but I do have a custom version of this, but I do not have this particular figure yet. So thanks so much, Nick. Alright, thanks, and I said the right name right, yes, Nick, okay, you always have to like be careful, mindful of that. And I really appreciate you guys sending all this stuff out to me, and again, thank you guys all so much for the birthday wishes. Remember... Gypsy, uh, Gypsy Danger Pacific Rim figure, Reactor Blast, leave a comment on shardomisprime.net. I'll announce the winner for that next week. And then Raul, please hit me up for your Sasuke figure. Alright, you guys, please send your letters and artwork over to Shardomis Prime at PO Box 384 Pacifica, California, 94044. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!